Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much yet again for watching me. Um, I know uh, my last video, as a matter of a fact, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, last time I checked my um, how many subscribers I had, I had up to 17 subscribers. And I was like 10 views away from 100 views on my first video. So we're moving on the right direction. I really like the way this is going. Um, keep letting me know uh, what I've been good at. And for all the constructive criticism you guys have gave me. Um, I'm definitely going to take it in mind, even though right now I'm not following one of them, which is looking at the camera. So I do apologize that I'm not looking at the camera. Um, it's kind of hard to look at the camera and talk at the same time, but I'll get the hang of it eventually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, but thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that there's so much I want to put out there, um, but I definitely, it's so hard to like, Put something out there, um, knowing you have so many things you want to talk about. Um, like, I, I've been telling my boyfriend for days, like, I'm, I'm making a video, I'm making a video, I'm making a video. And I haven't made a video because I haven't also built my courage to get on the camera. Like, it's so easy to talk to the camera when nobody's around, when it's just peace and quiet and it's just you. But my boyfriend, as a matter of a fact, is in the other room, so he can hear me. So it's so, it's like nerve wracking and I don't know. It's kind of hard to put into words, but you know what I mean. So I definitely want to get started with this video and I'll let you guys know. So let's get to it. Is this too close? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway, okay. So what I want to start off with the second video in my channel is I want to do it with a story time. Um, I want to do a like I said I wanted to do story times and this is one of them um what I want to talk about since Valentine's Day is tomorrow but by the time I post this Valentine's Day would already be the day of so I want to talk about my boyfriend and I's story time um when we did our very first Valentine's Day together so all right um, I apologize in advance if I breathe really hard or <laughs> I look like I'm nervous and I'm moving my hands and I move, move the focus out of the camera. Um, it's just, I use my hands a lot when I talk. I don't know why I've always been like that. And then, like I said, I apologize for me if I jumble my words or I sound like I'm, um, I'm nervous or whatever. It's because, like I said, it's building the courage to talk to the camera and it's also building um the courage to be able not to care if somebody's in the other room hearing me um so yeah all right so around six years ago on the 13th um i remember my boyfriend and i were on this messenger app called kick k-i-k -K. um some of you know what the app was it was like a, a black background app with the words in green k-i-k -K. Um, him and I used to message a lot through there, and um, I remember we were messaging through there, and we were talking about what we wanted, uh, we were what we were going to do for Valentine's Day, and I remember telling him that I was going to call off, which now that I think about it was probably a stupid idea. Um, I was going to call off because I wanted to spend all day with him, and he had told me he was like, no, he's like, I think we can just go to the movies after you get off work, since you get off work early. And around that time, I used to get off at work at, like, around 6 o'clock um, in the evening. So, it wasn't late. And if if you know, movies usually start around, what, like, in the evening times, around 7, 30, 8 o'clock or whatever. So, I was like, okay. But I remember thinking to my head, I was like, man, I really don't want to. I was like, I really want to just spend all day with him. I know, I sound clingy now that I think about it. Um, but... I mean, that's what I wanted to do, but he bought me in and he told me, just go to work. So I went to work. Um, I went into work and um, I went directly to his house after I got off work. Um, I didn't go to my mom's because nobody was home. Um, my mom was at work already and my twin brother is usually out and about with his friends. So nobody was home. So I just went directly to his house. And um, so, like I said, I went get out of my car. I went and greeted everybody. Um, and then I went to his room, um, to see what he was up to, going to say hey, and, um, he was just telling me, he was like, hey, so, I forgot the hat that has a little ball on the top, 
He's like, at your house, and I want to wear it. He's like, can we go down to your house? I was like, huh? So I was so confused, and the only reason I was confused is because around that time, he didn't like beanies or hats with the little ball at the top, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I was so confused that he wanted to wear that on Valentine's Day out there. He doesn't really like hats like that, at least then. And um, I was like, okay, all right. So I was so thrown off. Like I, I remember being thinking like, I was like, why would he want to go to my house, pick up his hat that he left there after he just told me a couple of days ago that he doesn't really like those hats. Hmm. So I don't know, but yet again, like he says, um, um, I was gullible at the time. And now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I definitely was. So anyway, I took my happy butt, got in the car and, um, we went down, um, down, to my house and we didn't really live that far from each other at the time we were literally like down the street um so it wasn't long of a drive and i remember just talking about my um how j my job went and how his day was and yada 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 so um we then we finally got to my house um everyone was out like all the kids were out so everyone was saying hi to us or whatever so, um, then I finally went inside, and then, this is when the cute stuff happens, then we, I noticed that, um, there was rose petals on the ground, um, they were pink, pinkish one, light, light pink and red ones, right, light pink ones, I think they were just like pink, I don't know, but the point is that there was a, a trail of roses going up the stairs, oh my gosh, so, <laughs> Now that I think about it, then I, when I send those flowers, I'm like, hmm? And since I knew that my twin brother brings people over, um, I just thought it might have been stuck on their shoe. It sounds silly now, um, but I'm like, I was like, I didn't think much. I'm like, okay. So, and I had a long thing of stairs. So, we keep walking up the stairs and I keep noticing uh, roses. I'm like, okay. So, we finally get up to, like, the hallway and I still notice roses. I'm like, okay. So I started smiling. I'm like, okay, where is this going? Um, my mom's room was closed. My brother's room was open. But obviously, there was no rose petals going there. And it was going to my room. And my room was closed. And I remember those rose petals as then I opened the door. And sure enough, there was rose petals going to my bed. And there it was. A whole bunch of stuff on my bed. And now that I think about it, I remember thinking i was like oh my god this is embarrassing he just came in my room and it's so messy um but that day that's funny that you say i was saying that because i remember thinking that day i was like oh my god thank god i made my bed because i made my day my mm -hmm. i made my bed um the day when i was going to work i made my bed i don't know why i never really ever did my bed i think i did but that day i made sure i made my bed and when I seen all this stuff, I'm like, oh, my God, thank God I made my bed. Um, but I went up to my bed, and sure enough, there was a whole bunch of roses on my bed. And um, there was a caterpillar. Like, it was probably, like, this big. Yeah, it was, like, big, and it had the word love on it. And it was red and pink. Um, and then um, there was, rose, like I said, rose petals on my bed. And then there was that heart, a heart-shaped sh chocolates in there. You know, like a heart-shaped aluminum thing with chocolates in them. Dove chocolates. So they were dark chocolates, I think. And then he gave me... <laughs> I just don't think this is funny. He bought also a, um, a chocolate-figured man that <laughs> had pink trunks on it with red hearts on them. Oh, my God. I was dying laughing. And then um, I also um, have a, um, a Valentine's Day card. I don't know about you girls, but for me, um, I'm so crazy over, like, cards. Like, I have every card he's given me for the past six years. So, uh, um, <coughs> excuse me. So, I, ha I had the card and I opened it. Um, the card is in here somewhere. Um, but anyway, after I seen that, my brother, they were all, they were both in the hallway. So my twin brother was there, and he was smiling at me. And my boy was just looking at me. He's like, what? And like one night, I ran over there, and I hugged him. And I told him, thank you. I remember that. That um, I was like, I, I don't know. I kept thanking him for everything. He was like, oh, you're welcome and everything. 
And, um, oh, my God, I was crying. Like, I'm a big crier. That's one thing I can say when it comes to stuff like that. So I was crying and thanking him and everything. Like, it was probably one of the cutest things ever. Like, nobody has ever done that for me. And so um, I thought it was just the cutest thing. And Arnold was like, my, um, excuse me. So my brother was like, um, he was like, you like it? I'm like, yeah, I'm like I do. And um, I remember my boyfriend telling me that um, he went through all the hassle with my twin brother while I was at work. So all of this stuff was prepped up while I was at work. And now, now that I think about it, how did he do this with my mom? Like, my mom knew we were together, right? But I was just like, how how would it have went through if my mom was home? That's what I always thought. Like, how, how would it have this went through if my mom was home, you know? Because with parents, you know how they are. They're like, oh, what are you doing type stuff, you know? So... I don't know, I always figured, like, how, but my mom used to work very long days and hours and stuff, so, um, I mean, whatever. <sighs> but anyway, so, I was very emotional, but you know me, I had to video clip everything, and I, like, I video clip everything. It's crazy. Um, and it, whatever any, anybody gives me, I like keeping it the way it is. Uh, like, if I get anything new, I like to keep the tags or whatever. I don't know, that's just me. Um, but that day I remember, he was like, okay, he's like, now we gotta clean this up. I'm like, okay, but I remember getting a plastic bag and picking up the rose petals from the ground and keeping them in a bag, because I said, I said this is what I was gonna do, but I didn't do it. I said I was going to dry out the rose petals, like I was gonna put them, you know, if you leave them out in the sun, they dry, and I was gonna put them, um, to dry them up, and I was gonna put the card... Excuse me for the breathing. I can't breathe. Um, I was going to put him in the card that he gave me. Did I ever do that? No. So, we picked up the rose petals after I recorded everything. And, um, and then, after that, we went to this place called Texas Roadhouse. Um, we went to a steakhouse to eat dinner. Um, so, no, we never went for that little beanie hat. And, no, we didn't go to the movies. We went out for dinner. And, um... So, yeah, we went there, and I remember, I'm like, oh, my God. I felt so dazed. Like, I felt so happy, so loved, and so blessed. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't feel any more happier at the moment. I still do. Like, for anything that he does for me till now, um, it's probably one of the, he, I don't know, he just lets it known that he loves and cares for me. So, um, that's one thing I can give him advice is don't let, um, don't let special holidays only be the only day you reflect or show love to your significant other um just kind of do it at random any day or whatever um but i mean if you can do it also on that day of that's devoted for them do it you know what i mean so i mean so we were at texas roadhouse and i remember when they were sending us i told him i was like i can't have um too much of their dinner rolls i can't and he, he started laughing he's like why i was like because if i eat all these dinner rolls i'm not gonna eat my food like, I don't know about you guys, but if you guys haven't had Texas Roadhouse dinner rolls, oh my god, they are to die for. Like, okay, so we got there and we sat down, and um, they they had put the bread out already. And I'm already eating it, and I'm like, nope, I gotta push back. But I pushed back two baskets of bread later. And then when my food came out, I... <laughs> I barely ate my food and I told him I was like I see I told you if I ate these dinner rolls I wasn't gonna really eat with my main entree but anyway I mean it fills me up lemonade and dinner rolls must have did the trick I don't know but but yeah basically and I, I'm gonna show like videos at the end of this video um what he did for me on that Valentine's Day I think I posted them um, on my social media, I think. I can't remember. But if I do, I'll post them so you guys can see. But, uh, yeah. So, that's basically it. That's what all went down on our very first Valentine's Day. Um, like I said, um, I do work on Valentine's Day. Oh, gosh. Um, so that thing hasn't changed. Um, um, and then also another thing I wanted to talk about, um, really quick is I don't let it, um, be the man to do everything for Valentine's Day. Like, you girls can do something for your man, too. Like, it doesn't have to be just the man's job to 
to spoil us or show us that we love them. Let's let's show them how, that we love them and that we appreciate everything they do for us. You know, it's a two-way street. You know, that's what I tell him. If he gives me 1,000 of his effort, I'm going to give him 1,000 too. Like, that's what I'm all about. Like, a lot of people look at that different and view that differently. And that's okay. Like I said, it's okay for us to have different opinions. But in my, as me as a person, I believe going both ways. Like, um, after so many times, like, I pay for his dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever. Like, I love giving back. Like, he... He makes sure I'm okay, I'm going to make sure he's okay type thing. Like, it do, it doesn't, you can't accept everything, you know, and not give back. You got to give back, you know. It's just something that I live by every day. And we've done, we've been rocking for a very long time. And if God allows, we will continue to be rocking with each other, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video or if it was too long. I know I've really consumed a lot of your time. Um, if this was too long, let me know because I definitely want to know if this was too lengthy. Because I definitely don't want you to, like, within three minutes of the video and you already clicked out of it. Like, no. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments. If this was something you want me to continue doing, like, story times, I will. Um, if not, um, then I will just do something else. Um, I'm planning on doing a mukbang next. But <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I plan. I have so many things lined up for this channel, but it's just so hard to find something and film it and make it right and make it feel right um, all in one time. You know. Um, yet again, I'm sorry that I didn't look at the camera. Yet again, like I said, there's so many distractions in this room, and then knowing that he's listening to me in the other room is kind of like <laughs> so whatever. But anyway, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>